Hello guys, I am Fahim and welcome to Top Coder. In this video, I am going to show you how you can integrate TinyMCE to your Laravel application. So, for those of you who don't know, TinyMCE is a HTML editor. Basically, it is used for blog application. So, let me show you a demo. So, you can see that this is this is for a blog post there is blog blog title and then there is blog description so in here you can write your blog description uh, just like wordpress but in this case we are using tiny mce you can see in the bottom right here so this is a laravel application so i'm going to show you how you can integrate tiny mce to your laravel application So this video is going to be very short so the first thing what you have to do is you have to open up your laravel application and go to the blade file that that you want to use for tinymce in this case in my case it is this blade file after you opened your blade file what you have to do is you have to create a text area so in my case I'm using this text area right here and you can see it's using bootstrap you can see form control and then I am using a tiny MCE class you can use any class you want but I am using tiny MCE and after that what you have to do is you have to use scripts at the bottom of your blade file so as you can see I am using a I'm extending a layout this layout right here and it has a script section so when I go to my blade file I am using a section called scripts which is this section right here so all the scripts that I write here is going to be published right here so the new tinymce5 is the latest version and I am using this CDN for tinymce and don't worry I will post all the code in the description box you can copy them from there so after I call the CDN for the tinymce I am just calling I'm just initializing the tinymce with the config so this is the config I'm using so if you want me to explain all of this just let me know on the comments I will explain everything but I think th this config has all the things you need so I, I am using the selector as text area and then I am using the tinymc class which is this text area here is all the plugins I am using here is all the toolbars and this is for the image upload so in the image upload handler you can see that I am using a route called admin.imageupload so you have to create a route for your image upload which I will show you in a minute and then you have to use CSRF token if you are using a protected route which is highly recommended so let me show you the image upload so if I go to my web page right here and reload the page and then I upload an image And then I click on save you can see the image is uploaded and this image will be inside this uh, block blog post like this you can then center the image and style it like you do on WordPress or other blog application so how is this image is being uploaded so this is a very difficult thing for new developers so if I go inside my image upload route which I defined right here if I it is inside the home controller so it has an image upload section so all I am doing is I am getting the image and then I am giving it a name and then I am saving it on the public path 
inside tiny mce images folder so if i go inside my public folder you can see it has a tiny mce images folder and here is all the images that are being uploaded right here so this is all you have to do after that you can just type any text you want you can give it a name you can give it give a post image and then when i click on hit create post it will create a post and then if i open my database and go to the post table you can see that all the description are being saved like basic html so you can see here is the image here is the image url here is the width height and all the text are inside the p tag so basically that's it so if you want how i if you want to see how i am saving my post it's here so you can see that all i am doing is getting the description the post description there's nothing else and i'm saving the uh, thumbnail image on the on this public page right here which doesn't matter so yeah that's it so this is how you use tiny mce for your laravel application so if you like this video please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can follow me on instagram for quick tips and you can follow my blog post for all the source codes and details thank you